Hey, what's up? I want to talk to y'all for a second. I've been having these weird dreams. Weird, I mean weird. I stayed over at my dad yesterday. Then I, for some reason I had dreams um, of, you know, like I'm in, for instance, I'm, I'm at a place and then I'm all of a sudden, you know, I'm surrounded by these girls and then they saying if you want to have sex. That's what I'm saying. Protect your sexual energy. You know what I'm saying? That's where you got to work out, meditate, drink warm, warm water, because you don't know what's after us. That's where you got to protect your energy. Sometimes you want to know who is after us. You know, especially in these times, we don't know who's after us. You know what I'm saying? So I'm saying all these dreams that I'm having of having sex and having girls and I'm always having dreams about sex. I don't know why. So I'm trying to, um, you know, block it out of my head, you know. I passed puberty stage. I'm in my 20s, late 20s. But all of a sudden, I'm still having these weird dreams about sex and about girls. I don't know why, you know. And I try to prevent it by, you know, thinking about other stuff, you know. Clearing my head, you know, every time, you know. Drinking a lot of water, you know. Trying to um, also take care of myself, you know, stuff like that. But if you have these weird dreams, weird dreams, the only best thing to resolve it is just to meditate. Honestly, meditate, pray about it, and just block it out of your head because sometimes dreams come in to distract you from your purpose, your, your future. I mean, sex is part of life. I mean, girls and stuff, and but that's not really all to life. That's just a distraction from you completing your completing your your journey completing your purpose so i'm saying to y'all is that if you're having weird dreams about sex and about um you know hanging around people and weird stuff i mean to block it out just you know that's why you have to watch what you do before you go to bed you know what i'm saying because certain dreams is like it comes in different forms so the only way to get rid of it is just to you know do a lot of um you do a lot of uh well yoga is good yoga um concentrate on your breath your breathing stuff like that um you know so forth um next thing um also i would say that um dreams are true like when we dream in we our body leaves our our soul leaves our body and then it goes on onto different planets different destinations so when you're sleeping don't think you're sleeping your body's still awake but your body's on different areas you know what i'm saying so even if you have dreams about sex or about anything that's because of your it depends on what you're what you're focusing on if you focus if you're, if you're always focusing on sex and about this sex and money and all these stuff then that's what that's what you, you're going to be stuck with in your head like me i'm just focused on my purpose in our life but then all of a sudden when i sleep i always dreaming about sex i don't know why and then my dream this girl asks me do you want to have sex i'm like what this is crazy so i'm gonna have sex in my dreams that's kind of weird doesn't it sound weird to you it doesn't make sense right how can you have sex in your dreams and it happens all the time you know and i'm trying to prevent it from happening i don't think about sex i try to just focus on other things you know i don't even watch tv i try to just read books to educate my mind you know what i'm saying because when you when you um when you indulge in in stuff that's not going to help you and be beneficial to you that just feed a negative energy in your spirit you want to feed positive energy in your spirit you know what i'm saying so you when you're thinking of when you're dreaming i mean you could control your dreams i mean depending on how much energy you have at the moment so that's what i'm saying to protect your energy protect your sexual energy that's all i gotta tell you protect your sexual energy um that's why you gotta exercise that's why you gotta um walk early out in the morning get yourself some nature and 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 um you know focus focus on on what what you're gonna do five ten years from now because life is just passing by you know you can't take back and say oh i want to do this i mean the time is now they have a quote that says 
work harder on yourself than you do at your job. And another quote that says, seasons change, but seasons change. I'm gonna read it to y'all right now. In fact, I'm gonna show y'all. Let me read it to y'all right now. It says, life and business are like seasons. You know, and another quote that says, seasons, seasons can change. But you can change your future, but you cannot change the seasons. So what does that tell you? That tells you that even when you're having dreams, you can control your dreams. And a way to control your dreams and can control your sexual energy is by meditating. Um, having something warm before you go to bed. Um, eating a lot of healthy foods. It plays a part in your diet, what you eat. You know what I'm saying? That's what I'm gonna. That's what I'm trying to turn vegan. You know, not eating no meat. Um, honestly, I feel like um, it's not how much chicken you eat. It's it's the type of chicken that you're getting. Are you getting the good quality chicken, the good quality meat? You know what I'm saying? These meat that you're getting that you think is good meat, it's not good meat. Um, places out there that sell good quality meat is kosher places. Like for instance, if you go into a Jewish neighborhood, they have kosher meat. But in the black neighborhood, we don't get the good stuff. They give us any old crap. You know what I'm saying? Because that's how they treat us. You know. They, they don't give us good quality stuff, you know? You're gonna, you have to fetch like overseas just to get good quality products. So you, gotta, you gotta fetch out of your district just to get good quality, healthy snacks, healthy foods, healthy home foods, whole foods. They don't have it in the black neighborhood. They only have it in the Jewish neighborhood. They only have it in the white neighborhood. So I'm actually have to go in the white neighborhood just to get some good quality foods which is crazy it makes no sense you know what i'm saying so what i'm saying is protect your sacral energy there's a book that um talks about that um there's a yoga book about how to protect your sexual energy how to meditate and how to focus on your breath because everything plays a part of um your mind your thoughts and everything everything has to be lined up so when you're meditating and doing yoga make sure your everything is lined up and aligned um they have some foods too for yoga that they said like green tea um they have different um products out there that you can use um that that's good for um that cleans out your cleans out your um you know cleans out your thoughts and everything there's stuff like um good quality foods nothing is better than stuff from the earth Everything from the earth is the best quality. I don't care what it is. You know what I'm saying? Plant-based is your best option right now. Um, if you want to go vegan, that's your best option right now. If you want to be vegetarian, that's your best option right now. You know what I'm saying? Me, personally, I mean, I eat chicken, you know, but I'm really trying to stay away from a lot of um, red meat, you know what I'm saying? I'm trying to mainly just eat, um, mainly just foods that are high in fiber. I'm mainly trying to just eat foods that are kosher, you know. Um if I have like if I have chicken, I got to make sure it, it's um it's it's something it's chicken and it's not too big, you know, cuz some of them, you know, when you go shopping to get chicken, don't get it so big, you know, cuz you don't know what they put in it. They put them them GMO. You want to get non-GMO products, you know what I'm saying? Whenever you go grocery shopping, get non-GMO products. You know what I'm saying? Don't get stuff that um with all them chemicals, for instance, you know what I'm saying? So for instance, I'm gonna show you a perfect example. Um, this is a toothpaste that I use. Um, bring, I hate to break the secret to y'all, but I wanna show y'all a demonstration of what I'm talking about. You see this right here? This is called anti-active charcoal toothpaste. Fluoride free, you see what I'm saying? You wanna get these stuff, you know what I'm saying? 
these good quality stuff, you know what I'm saying? You want to prevent yourself from getting all these stuff mixed with chemicals and all these preservatives. Because that's what this country, that's what they're making money off of, you know what I'm saying? All these artificial foods and all these artificial um, vitamins that y'all taking that's supposed to be quote-unquote healthy for you. But it's, it's mixed with all kind of chemicals, you know what I'm saying? Um, I take um, creatine. Creatine is alright because when you read the ingredients, it tells you the ingredients that it's made with, you know what I'm saying? It's made with um with gluten, gluten free, um You see? So if y'all working out, y'all definitely want to get this creatine thing because I advise y'all to get it because you know if y'all want to stay in shape, that's your best option, creatine, you know what I'm saying? So those are good, because this is actually at GNC, what I like, GNC sells products that are non, um, that are non-GMO, gluten-free. Whenever you go and shopping, make sure you, you're looking for stuff that are non-GMO and stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? Because you got to watch what you put into your system. That always plays a part with protecting your sexual energy. Like if you eat, for example, you go to McDonald's and you buy yourself a big burger and stuff. You know what I'm saying? And then you go to sleep. You know? That's not protecting your sexual energy. Um, if you want to protect your sexual energy, watch what you put into your system. You know what I'm saying? Feed your, your, your soul with positive energy. All the negative energy, you know, plays a part. You know what I'm saying? That's what I'm saying. Like, like me personally, I eat healthy. But I still have sexual dreams. Like, me, ha I'm, I have dreams of me having sex in a dream. That's crazy. And I eat healthy and everything. But I think there's more to it than that. I passed puberty stage. I don't understand why I keep having dreams about sex and about all these women and, and stuff like that. You know, so I don't know what, what that's, what, what is it saying? You know what I'm saying? Because, um, at the moment, um, I'm not dating anybody right now at the moment. I mean, I talk to people every once in a while, you know, but that's not the point. The point is, how can you control your dreams? You know what I'm saying? The way you can control your dreams is yoga. That's what I'm telling y'all from the beginning. Like I told y'all, yoga is important. You know what I'm saying? Because yoga calms your mind. Yoga clears them thoughts, them, them thoughts, them nasty thoughts you have. You know, um, yoga clears, detoxifies your mind. It cleans your thoughts. It cleans your mind. Purifies your mind. You know what I'm saying? So that's what you want to do. Purify your mind. Clean out the toxify because you have so much toxic in your body from the foods you eat so maybe that's what's causing me to have sexual dreams you know what i'm saying or the toxic foods that i've been eating lately you know what i'm saying that's why i tell myself to eat more healthy eat more nat natural foods more whole foods so i could protect my sexual energy and so that i could be more be more alive feel more alive in my body i could control my emotions and everything Cause it all plays a part. If you if you don't eat, if you don't eat the right foods, how can you protect your sexual energy? That's my question. You can't protect your sexual energy if you're eating the wrong foods. You know what I'm saying? But me personally, I try to eat healthy to protect my sexual energy, but I still have sexual dreams. So I know the way that I'll overcome it is just to eat yoga. Clear my mind, exercise, um, you know. Make sure I'm getting a sun, a lot of sun, because vitamin D. That helps to detoxify your mind and your thoughts, the negative thoughts and negative energies. Um, one way to be focused and to have a positive energy and to, and to, be, and to um, secure your energy is to, um, you could even do yoga in the sun. You know what I'm saying? When you're outside, you sit down, get your yoga mat. I'm going to drop a video on that. You know, I'm going to be outside with my yoga mat. I'm going to show you a demonstration of how to meditate, you know, because people don't meditate, you know, people don't meditate enough. Or even if they do, they just do it for like, what, five minutes, 20 minutes. When you meditate, you got to meditate for at least an hour and a half, you know, because that's the way how you communicate with your creator. You know what I'm saying? So, so I think the best way how to do it is outside. You know what I'm saying? Meditate outside. Get yourself a yoga mat. Meditate outside. You could do it in your house too, but I would say outside is better because you get that more connection with with the with nature and with the trees and the earth and all that stuff. You know what I'm saying? You get more enthused with Mother Nature. You know what I'm saying? That's the that's what you want. That's your objective right now. Get enthused with 
with connecting with your higher self, you know what I'm saying? Your body is created of five elements. Your first element is water. Your second element is air. Your third element is fire. Your fourth element is earth. Your fifth element is going to be a spirit. So all these elements that your body is made up of all have to be aligned and all have to be strong. And, that's, and that all plays a part with sexual energy. To protect your sexual energy, you all have to work out these five elements. The air, earth, fire, spirit. I think I'm missing one. Water. I said water, right? And then ear. Yeah, ear. So you have to protect your energy by meditating and doing yoga. So when you do those things, that's how you could become stronger sexually and you could be stronger spiritually and that's how you connect with your creator you know what i'm saying so dreams you're supposed to have dreams but i'm saying that the dreams that you're having why are you having them constantly over and over and i keep having dreams about sex all the time you know what i'm saying I try to, I try to, that's why, I think, you know what I think it is? Some, you know what I think it is? Like, something's after my energy, you know? After my sexual energy. So I have to protect it, I have to secure it. By securing it, I meditate, eat healthy. That's how I get strong. And that's how I have control over my dreams. Eating healthy, staying in shape, and having self-control of your dreams. That's one way how you could become successful in, um, in yourself and you can become a better person and have more confidence in yourself you feel what I'm saying because I look at it as like there's so much stuff happening now you know what I'm saying you have to protect your sexual energy you have to protect your energy because you could spend time talking to somebody and I could lower your vibration you know what I'm saying um, you want to rise up your vibration by rising up your vibration you have to focus, focus within, you know what I'm saying? I won't say it's easy. It takes practice, it takes patience, it takes effort, it takes a lot of work to be successful at what you wanna do. Um, but get through it, and that's all I had to share with you. I just wanted to drop that video about it because it's been weird. These couple of days I've been having weird dreams, you know. But I'm hopefully I overcome the dreams, become a better person, and just focus on myself. Not on the news, but focus on myself. Focus on nature. Focus on the environment I'm I'm around, you know. People I'm associating associating myself with, you know what I'm saying? Make sure their energy is positive energy that I'm circulating with. If it's negative energy, you're gonna feel that, you know what I'm saying? Your soul plays a part in the energy. That's how it all connects energy, depending on what energy you have. You know what I'm saying? Um, also, I would say, uh, your best bet is just to, you know, I like, well, I like, I'm not too much of a rap guy, you know what I'm saying? I like more calm, soothing music. I like music like maybe, you know, like like old school music, you know what I'm saying? Old school is the best music, you know what I'm saying? Old school music, um, I would say, um, reggae music is alright, um, but old school music, man, some some something about old school music that I like. It tells a story, you know what I'm saying? Old school music, for some reason, it um, it just does something. It just it just, you just feel different, you know, you, you, you feel more confident, your vibes is it's a higher rate, your energy is, is more higher. You know, when I listen to rap music, my energy goes down a little, you know, because it's too, it's, too, it's too hyper, you know what I mean? The music's too hyper. So I mostly, I just like R&B music, soca music, um, you know, Michael Jackson is one of the, he's the king of pop, you know. Nothing beats his music, you know what I'm saying? He will always be the king of pop, you know, even if he was alive today. You know, if he didn't bleach his skin, honestly, I know he would have done a lot of a lot for the community, you know what I'm saying? 
if he was alive today, but what can I say? You cannot change the past, but you can change the future. So the future lies in you. That's all I have to say.